Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is going to be a great fun video. Slightly windy. It is a windy day today, yeah. so enjoy. Kobug has his spot right here, and he has claimed it. <laughs> once it gets so much hair on it, it becomes his. It becomes his once it gets so much hair on it. That's what Chris just said. So Chris, I saw you got most of the stuff cut out for your little cabinet out yep. there. Uh -huh. I just have the long bulkheads. Didn't um, want to mess up the sides, cutting it by myself. Uh, so getting ready to measure those. And this is going to be, it's fairly uh, along the lines. We don't have much to do left on this one. And this one nope. is all drawn out. Everything's cut besides the longer bulkheads. Right. And we'll be putting that together so here soon. I think today we'll have both of these in, no problem. It's exciting. It is. Then we'll start in the kitchen. We have some conditional matters happening with the kitchen in terms of what I'll be using, but uh, you know, time's a ticking, so gotta get it done either way. Right. And here's the stack of uh, material that Chris has already cut. He is going to be a real cabinet builder by the time he leaves here. Now, one thing I will tell him is we typically don't write on the face of the shelves. Of course, these are going to paint, but where we use typically write is here. It'd be on the bottom. So it's on the bottom and it's going to get paint anyway, isn't it? Yeah. All righty then. Nice and big so we know where they go. As that we. <laughs> Don't have to look them look them up too much. He'll... And also got these tiles. Thinking about using this for the backsplash of the kitchen just to uh, lighten up the color, being that pretty much the whole rig's going to be stainless steel, white, and black. Well, that'll kind of pop, won't it, when it? So it'd be these for the backsplash of the uh, sink, and then also where the diesel heater's going to go. Use these as the tiles for that. That is awesome. Might they are, to, are very colorful, aren't they? Yeah, I might have to order another batch of them because, for example, I don't really like these. That's okay. There's a couple of them that I don't really like, and I don't think I have enough here if I don't use all of them. So I might get another batch of them. I really like these. Oh, yeah. Kind, but they're, uh, like for nine of them, it's like 20 bucks, where this whole thing... I ordered one of the ones with faces, but this whole thing, besides these, all these right here was like 80. Oh, so, wow. We'll see. We'll see what happens. What you doing here, Chris? Oh, just trying to put some cabinets together. Getting there slowly but surely. And what is, what is this cabinet? This is going to be the uh, passenger side bedroom cabinet. So it'll have some uh, larger storage bins as well as be the mounting location for the, oh, I hate that, now I'm towards my hand. Um, <laughs> this will be the uh, it's better. location for the It's better tank. than you nailing towards my hand. That's true. That's my responsibility. <laughs> um, diesel tank's going to go over here to uh, to this side. Uh -huh. There's going to be uh, just storage containers, cloth storage containers, and then drawers on this side. Uh, laundry hamper basket is going to be pull out from that side. It's going to be on some, some guides. Uh huh. And like I said, this is just going to be laundry baskets. And all the bulkheads up baskets, here will be but... curved. Mm -hmm. They'll get cut in a curve so that they fit inside the bus properly. Mm-hmm. So how are you feeling about building cabinets? It is a whole new world. That's for sure. With, uh, with a lot of stuff that I do, where I, I think where I thrive is where there's no defined lines, where you can color outside the lines and there's different ways of doing things. So for example, one of my most recent jobs is real estate where it's completely conditional on the conversation, how the person's mood is, how you're interacting, and depending on how well you can adapt to that is how well you do. Where with this, 12 and 15 sixteenths is 12 and 15 sixteenths. There's no middle room. There's no 
wiggle room to negotiate. Only way you can negotiate is down. You could go to a 32nd. Right. So that's a whole new world. And it's, you know, I mean, last night when I was cutting all these, it was fun, like getting the exact measurements and remeasuring and making sure they're good. It's just hard for me to be exact on things. It's something that. And it's been, it's been pretty good. You just had one bulkhead that was a quarter inch off, right? Yeah. And I, I tried like all the bulk, well, bulkheads I cut, but all of this was all reused too. So some of it was a little funky, um, not exactly straight. Like the base was a little, little warped. It's going to look real good when we're finished though. Yeah. Yeah. I figured once it's all nailed down, it'll be good. It's just trying to reuse as much of that wood as possible. Cause we still have eight sheets, not so including all the drop. So the grain is going the wrong way on these. <laughs> probably my fault. I probably didn't stress that enough. And then, um, but it's all going to paint, so it won't make a whole lot of difference. Well, I think Jim is way more worried about the grain than I am. <laughs> well, our little fountain is going great today. We have a few little flowers that are looking a little rough because we've had some cold nights. The um, the oats that I planted are coming up pretty good. And this is our little waterfall. And today at 4.30 we have somebody coming to take a look at our house. So I just speak it as sold. This thing shoots in low light really good. So uh, we're going to look at Chris's cabinets. We did a few things today. And this is a storage cabinet right here on top of his doghouse. And that's where his electronics and stuff will be in this area. So he'll have charging stations there. And this is where his shirts and stuff will hang right here. And then over on this side, if we can get back far enough, that's going to be a hamper on the bottom. And a pull out, what are those called? Totes. Pull out tote there, there, and there. And that will have doors on it. And then Right here, this will be drawers. We haven't put the styles on the face yet, but there'll be a, like four drawers in this one here, and they'll have side guides. So that'll be nice, big storage drawers. And then up here will just be a little cubby hole to put stuff in. His fuel tank for his heater will be right here. And we'll put hardy board on the side or some kind of heat reflectant. All the way down and his heater will sit right in his diesel heater will sit right in this area somewhere so we're running into the issue right now of let's explain it to Jim earlier the Ant Antarctic is made for 40 foot boats which you know would be equivalent to this where the Alaska is made for 36 foot boats right now the Antarctic will not be in until November in November early December so Right now I'm trying to make the call on just getting the Alaska and just count on the radiant floor to, you know, spread more heat and see if that works. Cause the thing is I'll be mobile. So it's not like I'll be in freezing temperatures from what I know. It'll just be keeping it warm. And with this spray foam insulation, I think it will create enough of a, uh, you know, full insulated envelope that we won't have problems. But you do builds like this, there's always give and take. There's always things you have to wait on. There's always things you didn't think of. So, but no, very happy about the cabinets. I'm excited to, uh, you know, get those painted and get the drawers in and, you know, actually store some of my clothes in there. Yeah, exciting. And get your sink, your sink set in the next day or two. That'll be nice. And then as soon as you find out about your stove, what stove we're going to use for sure, yeah. we'll build that cabinet. It's very exciting. It's, you know, with the last year, it's October now, October 20th is when I flew out to pick up the bus. So we're coming up to exactly a year when I first saw the bus. And here it is now. Starting to feel like home. It felt like home a long time ago. It's just starting to look like home now. So it's really That's cool. Awesome. It's well, really Chris, cool I series. really enjoy working with you. It's a lot of yeah. fun. Thanks for the help. Yeah, it's great. I really so. appreciate it. And if Learned you get if you get real cold, you got a little buddy right there. That's <laughs>
Yeah, little buddy heater. <laughs> Those little buddies, they can heat it up for you. I'll just go lay on the couch with Kobuk, make him snuggle with me. That's, that'll that'll work too. It's one dog night. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, the temperature here in, in uh, Colorado has been really nice recently. It's been really nice working weather compared to, you know, 105, 110 in here that it was from time to time. So. That's right. It's really been nice. Really do appreciate the good weather. Well, this is the big surprise. The big surprise. It was a big <laughs> surprise to us, anyway. It was a shocker. And so, it may not seem like a big deal to some people out there, but for Jim, it was a major deal because it's been something that's been three years in coming. Yes. Probably three years and constantly on his mind. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, we're going to be traveling. So, I was... I was very um, set on getting a drone so that we could show some good uh, shots of scenery and our mm -hmm. bus and all right, that. Right, right. And I, I saw other people that had them and I thought, those are such good shots. So, here's the shocker. Chris came over and brought this big old backpack and put it on the bench over there and said, I'm giving this to you. Yeah. And he gave me... A Phantom 3 DJI awesome best drone in the whole wide world <laughs> and uh, it was it's exciting so I've been flying it every morning I've been flying it every night it's a DJI Phantom 3 professional DJI Phantom it. 3 professional and it takes such great pictures so we're gonna show you a little mm -hmm. clip I'm just learning but and he gave him the backpack the Which back, holds all the accessories and the iPad that he used with it and an everything. An iPad? So. Unbelievable. Everything I need yep. for drone shooting. So you're going to get some good shots. We're going to be real careful with it. And I'm really not a racer or anything. I'm just, uh, I just want good photography. Some pictures, yeah. So people can share with us in yep. what we're seeing. So, so enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. Here you go. out here 